I mean, Greggy Poo, you really shouldn't have fucked with me. Don't ever strike my channel again. This wouldn't have happened if you let the leafy clone make her two little commentaries and dip. So the time has finally come. Greg has been on a copyright strike and claim rampage, and it seems he finally pissed off the right person. If you are new to my channel and want to stay up to date with all my latest videos, click subscribe and make sure the bell is turned on. Now let's get right into the video. Meet Madame, a YouTuber from the US who uploads content in a Leafy-esque manner. Madame recently uploaded two videos commenting on Anision. Madame even disclosed in the description of her content these were only a two-part series. Now, her videos featuring Anision's content fall verbatim under fair use the same way I have used Anision's cringe content in mine. But what do you think Anision did? Well, Anision can't take an ounce of criticism in a negative way and strike both of her videos. It's important to remember that for YouTube, this is some people's income. I'm not saying Madame solely relies on YouTube for income because I don't personally know her, but it's still taking money out of her pocket. The two videos Anision striked were Madame's content that she worked hard on to script, edit, and create. Anision has a very warped view of fair use, and to him, it's only fair use when you use small excerpts from his videos in a positive manner. Greg, fair use doesn't say you can only use small portions of others content as long as you don't make fun of them or criticize them but to Anision it doesn't matter as a narcissist he believes what he says to be fact and everyone else is wrong no matter if it's the written law as for now Madame is actively pursuing her videos being striked in a legal manner she has posted to Twitter showing legal forms she has in her possession that will essentially get the legal ball rolling to a Madame vs Anision showdown in a Pierce County courtroom if you want to donate to Madame's Patreon I will leave a link to her channel and her Patreon in the description below Madame has stated that while suing Anision isn't as expensive as first thought the travel expenses is where the money is going to come into play that's going to do it for this video if you enjoyed the video leave a like and tell me what you think do you think madame has a strong case in court on a side note i am almost finished my first bizarre true crime video i'm just now going through and uh editing the final touches i'll see you guys in the next video see ya